Today, I'll be drawing a crazy character both digitally and with acrylics. You're gonna wanna see this, so let's start with the digital version. We'll begin with a sketch. Skate away, elevate the pace. After just a few minutes, our epic sketch is done, and the next step is inking. Skate away, elevate the pace and leave it all right now. We are born magic, try to make There are some rules I follow when it comes to inking so that the character can look epic even without color. The rule is simply to ink whatever is in the foreground with thicker lines and whatever is in the background with thinner lines, and also ink the folds in fabric with thicker lines too. Feel free to quote me when I say that rule alone will greatly level up your line work, no cap, try it. It's already 2.30 a.m. and I'm tired, so I'm just gonna take some juice for more strength. Now we're in phase two of the process coloring now after coloring we move on to the final stage shading Now it's time to paint the same crazy character, but in my sketchbook this time. Let's see how it turns out. These are the colors I'll use. Let's do this. This is literally the second time in my life that I'm painting with acrylics. I should probably refill my white paint because it's all gone. Just casually checking if all the colors needed are still full. After putting all these weird lines here, I decided to paint the hand yellow. Let's make the process of painting one shoe look cinematic. The first shoe is completely done and it looks epic. So let's move on to the other shoe. The shoes look elite to me and we're almost done. All that was left was to clean up the painting, add some inking, and finalize some details, and now we're done.